Hi everyone, so you've probably have been in this situation whereby you're trying to loop through an object but it's just not working. This is probably because you're trying to loop through an object like you looping through an array and looping through an object is totally different from looping through an array. Looping through an array we can use things like the for each loop by like the do while loop and so many other methods for looping through an array. If you want to learn how to loop through an array, do check out this video over here where I have explained the different method of looping through an array. But in this video, we will be taking a look at four different ways to loop through an object. So let's get started. So the first method of looping through an object that I'm going to be taking a look at today is actually the for in um, method. So that's just basically um, a basic for loop, but instead of us saying for of, like we're going to do if this happens to be an array, we're going to be saying for if. So let's just see how that works. So in this case, I'm going to say for, and I'm going to say let's, um, I'll be calling this key in, let's key in car. So, and what this is basically going to do is that this is going to get all the keys in the car object. So, and that's why I'm just naming this particular variable here. I'm naming it key, and I can actually call this anything I like. So, let's just see how this works. So, I would say console.log, and I'm just console.log key, so we can see what's coming out of there. So we can see that these are the keys and these are the value, key, value, key, value. And that's what an object is simply all about. It's a key value pair. So this is getting all the keys of this particular um, of this particular object. So we can see it gave us the name the first time it looped through it. And the second time it's iterated through the object, it gave us model. The third time it gave us the year of manufacture and so on. So we have actually successfully looped through this object, but it's given us the key. And I understand that in most situation, given this key is not just enough because we also need the value. So how do we go about getting the value? It's just so simple. So to get the value, we're just going to say that car, and we're going to use a square bracket. So, okay, let me, let me show you this first. I'm going to comment this out. So if I should comment this, take note that in JavaScript, to get the value of any particular object, I could just say car dot name and um, have to do this in a console.log so we could see it. So if I should say car.name in this case, you can see that I have a Honda. But if I don't want to do it this way, I can as well do it this way. I can use the square bracket and I can come over here and I'm going to write name. And you can see that I am still having the result of a Honda over here because of this is the name of the car. So this is basically the key and that simply means that if I should write the key, within a, the name of the key, within its, the, um, the square brackets over here, is going to give us the value. So that's been said, we're going to be using this logic to get the value in this particular for loop. So I'm going to take this out now, and I'll come over to my for loop. So in this case, I have to basically write the name of um, the entire key over here, but Instead of me to do that, I can just simply write key. And this time around, I'm not putting it between within this quotation mark because it is a variable. Now, this particular key here, remember the first time we have the list of audio key, is going to actually put the name of the key within this bracket and it's going to give us the name of the value. So that's just how we go about it now. So if I should save this now, you can see that we have in the name of this um of each of those values over here. So instead of us having the key like we did the first time, we're not having the values. So what if we want to have both the key and the value? Let's just do it this way. So first off, I'm going to just going to cut this out and I'm going to use this string. So I'm going to say the first thing we have here is the key. Why the second thing I'm going to say, just so we know which belongs to which. So I'm going to do it this way, and uh, and I'm going to say that car, and then I'm going to say key here. So if I should save this now, you can see that we have the name, which is actually been printed out from here, and here we have the key rather, which is actually been printed out from here, and here we have the value which has actually been printed out from here. So this is the first way of looping through um, an object in JavaScript. So there is another way whereby we can 
loop through an object in JavaScript. And this is by using the JavaScript object method, which is object.key um, to loop through it. So the object.key method is just, it, it's very, very similar to that of the um, for in method. So let's just see it. So to use the object.key, first I would like to show us this. So let's console.log this as well so we can see the result. So we'll say console.log object.key. So object.key is a method, so it's going to take in value. And the, and the value this object is, this method is going to take in is basically the, um, the object itself. So let's say, I think I should say that again. The value this object.key method is going to take in, the property it's going to take in rather, is basically the um, the object which is which happens to be cars in this case. So I'm just going to pass in car into this place. And if I should save this now, we can see what we have over here. And that's because of I mistyped this. So this is actually object.keys with an S, not IES. So object.keys. So if I should save this now, we can see that over here, it is giving us an array of all the keys in this particular object. So here we have an array of all the keys. So what we're going to do in this case now is that we're going to go ahead and loop through this particular array the way we're going to loop through any array and with that we can do some sort of manipulation to get the value so let's just do it and see how that goes so we're going to say that for let's say let's um key because we know these are the keys of course so let's keys off so take notes this time around i'm looping through this particular array so i'm not going to say let keys in since i'm looping through an array i'm going to say let keys off off is for an array and in is for object. So let's say let key off, and I'm going to say object, object.keys. Remember that's a method, and I'm going to pass in car over there. So now that I'm looping through this, I'm going to say console.log, and I'm going to write what key, which is actually this variable over here. So if I should save this now, you can see that aside from this first console.log, let me comment this out. Aside from that first console.log, we have each of the keys over here. And that's basically what we what we got in the first um, iteration we did over here. So what we're just going to do is I can just copy this particular stuff over here, paste it here because it's just the same thing to give us some value. So you can see that we now have the name and um, the key and the value over here. So that's just it. So that's, that's the second method of looping through an object using the what? The object.keys method. So let's um, comment this and let's talk about the next way. So the next way is actually, um, for me, I will call it my least favorite way, actually. And I'm going to tell you which is my favorite. My favorite is actually the fourth method. So the fourth method is just so, so easy. And that's basically what I use every day. So let's take a look at the next method. So the next method is the object.value method. So this can only give us an array of all the values. We can't really, it won't really give us the keys in this case. So let's go on. Let's just say, um, let's use console.log first console.log, in this case, we're going to say object.values. And like the first one, we're going to pass in the, um, the variable of cars. So there's a variable holding this object. So we're going to pass it over here. So let me save this. So unlike the first one, whereby it returns an array of, an array of all the keys, this time around, it is returning an array of all the values. And this is just basically what we have here. So if we want to loop through this, we're going to loop through this the normal way, which is by using this particular stuff here. So I'm just going to copy this, so save time, and I'll uncomment this. So instead of me saying um, object.keys here, I'm going to say object.value, and we're technically going to have the same results over here. So not the same results, sorry, because over here we have the key, which is this, but we can't say card keys because we don't have anything that has the key of Honda. There is no key called Honda here. And that is why this is giving us undefined. So if we take a look at this here, 
we just have on the fine over there. So that's just basically it. And this is why I don't really like using the object stood value because sometimes you just cannot get a key with it. Or if you're going to get the key, you have to go through different kind of method that is not really so straightforward. So that's just it anyways. So instead of me doing this, I'm just going to comment this out. And the last method I want to talk about now is actually the objects.entries. And that's basically my most favorite method. So let's say, um, let's console.log object.entry first so we can see what we're going to have with that. So console.log object.entries, and I'm going to pass in cars into that as well. So now if I should save this, we seem to be having an error here. So let's see. Okay, so I basically wrote cars over here instead of cars. So that's me um, typing something else. So if I should save this now, we can see we have an array of arrays. So let's expand this and let's see what we have here. So in the first array, we have another, and, they, and when we open the parent array, we can observe that we have more arrays inside of it, next to the arrays, and each of the child array contains the key and the value as two different items of the array. Now, this is very, very useful. And let's see how, how we can make use of this. So I'm just going to clear this first. And here, I'm going to comment this. Coming down here, I'm going to say four. Um, okay, let's just make it simple first. So we'll say, let's, let, um, I'm going to call this item in this case. So let's item of, we're going to be using of because this time around we're looping through an array. So let's item of objects dot entries. And this time around we have cars. Car, I meant to say that there is no basically no S there. So we're going to say console console.log and let's say item. Now if I should save this, you can see that we're now having we've removed the parents array and we're now having each of the child array as different arrays. So what we're going to do in this case is that we want to have the key. If we want to have the key, what we simply need to do is we know that the key is always the item zero of the array and the value is always going to be the item one of the array. So if I want to get the key, what I simply need to do is to say, give me the first, which is the zero item of the array. So if I should save this now, we can see that we have the keys here. And if I should come over here and I go to this one and say one, and I save this, you can see we have the value. So switching from key to value, is as simple as just writing a zero here and coming over here and you write a one here. It is basically this simple. And it can also be more simpler than this. And here is what I'm talking about. So if we want to write like the, the key and the value together. We can simply do this actually. We can see that this is the key and I'm just going to duplicate this and we can see that this is the value here. When I save this, you can see name, Honda, model, accord. Or we can actually make this cleaner. We can actually make this cleaner. I'm going to take this out and I'm going to say, I'm going to use this. So, and then I'm going to say, this over here is one. So we can see name is Honda, model is Accord, year of manufacture is 2022, color red, and so on and so forth. But what about if we don't want to say item, square bracket, zero, and all those things? We can also still, still do it this way. We can say let's, and now we're going to declare two variables within the array. So we're telling um, the browser, we're telling JavaScript that this particular um, declaration, variable declaration I'm about to make is an array. And I want the first item to be the, of the array to be donated, to be, um, to be marked as the key. And the second item of the array here is going to be marked as the value. So that is going to be the variable name. The variable name for the first item will be key, while the variable name for the second item will be value. So if I should save this over here, you can see what I have undefined. And that's simply because I've not changed this. So if I should change this now to be key and I come over here and I change this to be to be value and I save this. So you can see that we have this the way it ought to be. So this is the key and this is the value. So 
These are the four different ways by which you can loop through an object in JavaScript. So if you do enjoy this video, remember to give this a thumbs up and see you in the next video.